Guys, what we're having for dinner tonight, we are going to do a cabbage and kale with the last of this kielbasa roasted garlic um, sausage that I have. You guys have seen this now in a couple of meals. I did my jambalaya with it, and I also did kale and potato uh, with sausage soup. Um, so this time I'm just going to do my cabbage and kale, and I'm basically going to just kind of fry it up, saute it a little bit. Um, I don't know if I can if I'm explaining this right, but let me just show you what I have for ingredients. So this is the cabbage here, all chopped up, ready to go. Kale is here, ready to go. This is the sausage that I'm using. There's four left in that pack, and I'm gonna use those four. I already have my bacon cooked. There's eight pieces of bacon here. And I'm gonna make cornbread. This is the brand that I use to make my cornbread. And here's my butter for that. I'm going to use chicken broth um, for um, a little bit of moisture and keep things nice and juicy. I'm gonna um, use my minced garlic from Costco here. And these are the seasonings that I'm gonna use. My garlic powder, my nature seasoning, and I'm gonna um, put a little kick to it with some Cajun seasoning, okay? So I'm gonna cook my kale and my cabbage and I'm basically gonna saute it in the grease from the bacon, okay? Not all of it, but some of it is gonna be used for that. And then I'm going to um, pour little bits of chicken broth as I need it. And I'm also gonna um, get these in there. Um, probably the last 30 minutes I'm gonna put um, these in there. I think this is gonna take, I don't know, about 45 minutes, maybe total, 30 to 45 minutes. But these are gonna go in towards the end. I'll let you guys know in the end how long it all took for me to cook. I've never quite did the cabbage kale um, combination like this before. I've made kale before, I've made cabbage before, but I've never put them together. So this is what I'm making for dinner tonight and I will show you guys a little bit of the process. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Okay, so cabbage is in now and this is the pan that I made the bacon in. So cabbage is just kind of like steaming on there. It's on um, low or medium to low um, heat. And yes, yeah, so the cabbage is just kind of like getting married with that bacon grease and the garlic is also in the bottom so I put all the garlic in the bottom I did about two tablespoons of that garlic uh, maybe a tablespoon and a half um, and so now it's just kind of getting happy I'm gonna cover it um, for about 10 or 15 minutes before I add um, the sausage okay guys so now I have added the seasonings and the sausage to the cabbage and I've transferred it over into my bigger pot so I have room. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna add corn for a little hint of sweetness to this and a little color. And I'm gonna um, add the kale in too. So that's where we're at and then I'm going to start making my cornbread as well. Okay guys, so now I am deciding to add the corn. So I'm just doing a bag of steam fresh that you usually put in the microwave to steam. Super sweet corn and let's add that. I think it's gonna be really, really yummy in there. It's corn and cabbage and bacon and sausage and yumminess. Yeah, I think that's gonna add lots of yumminess to it. Just wanna let that go for just a minute and then I'm gonna add my kale. Cornbread is in the oven and we should be eating fairly soon. Okay, now I'm going to add some of that uh, chicken broth. Not even half the can, just a little bit. I would say that was probably about six ounces maybe. I'm just really guessing. No measurements there. But yeah, I'm gonna put the top on it and let that kinda go for a little bit. It was just getting, I have all my, my bacon goodness in there, but I wanted a little bit of um, moisture too, so it can steam a little bit. Okay guys, so now I'm just adding in our kale. Hopefully I can do it without. Oh, not making a mess. Kale's in, and now I will work this into the cabbage, corn, and sausage. Okay, guys, so the kale is all stirred and united with the rest of the goodness, and now I'm just gonna let that simmer. I am gonna add probably another two to three ounces of the chicken broth and um, go from there. I'm gonna let it simmer. I'm thinking for at least 10 minutes with the kale in there. Okay guys, so this is what we are having for dinner. This is the end result of uh, what I was making here. Here goes my kale, cabbage, and roasted garlic sausage, and corn. It is a hodgepodge, and I have to figure out a name for it, but it smells delicious, you guys. Oh my goodness, it tastes so good. 
and I just can't wait to have it actually all together as my meal. I just had like, you know, how the cook has their samples, so it tastes wonderful, the flavoring's great, but um, to have my actual plate, here goes my wonderful looking cornbread here, and there goes our bacon, we're just gonna top with a little sprinkle of bacon, and that is what we were having for dinner tonight. <laughs> When I make a meal its own video, I'll still add a clip of it into my what's for dinner, just in case somebody doesn't watch one or the other. Okay guys, so this is what we're having for dinner tonight. If you guys have any questions about what I made tonight, or have any questions about how I made it, or anything like that, you guys know you guys are free to ask in the comments. I get back to all of my comments, so please chat with me and I will see you guys in the next what's for dinner. Thanks for watching guys. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love.